First, fruit juice before I go to the gym. Pure fruit juice, this one, it's um, got pineapple, it's got apple, pear, um, some melon in it, and some orange as well. So I've got that one, and I've got that one as well. One's for before, one's for after. See you in a bit. Morning, I'm just finishing the rest of the second juice here. Um, just finishing up my stretch in the gym and uh, pulled something in my back. So I've got a, an appointment with the osteopath at two o'clock. I was supposed to go to her on Friday, but um, I have one today. So I think that's probably the gym finish for the rest of the week. Hopefully just the rest of the week and you can get this sorted out today. But it's just something that comes up every every so often. And I was just talking about one of the instructors in the gym about um, Denise. She's the uh, the osteopath who works upstairs in the same building. Um, how well you know my back was doing and stuff like that. Bent down to pick up my towel and click something in my back went. So just the way it is, isn't it? You know. Um, hopefully I can get some relief. It's not hurting that. Now it's just um, I can feel it right in the center of my, at the bottom of my spine. Something has, has popped out there, so see if she can fix it anyway. And uh, I'll speak to you in the next juice, so I'm going to finish this bit now. Do a bit of work, have a shower, and uh, get out there. See you in a bit. This is juice number three, and um, this is, there's a load of spinach in this one. Um, maybe three quarters of a bag of spinach. There's a couple of apples, a couple of oranges, and a bit of the melon as well, so... It's another sort of a sweet one. Just give me some energy. Um, see you in a bit. So I'm halfway through this now. I'm on day 16, which means that two weeks from today is my last day. So two weeks from today is Tuesday, 23rd. Uh, and yeah, it's it's. Uh, I'm learning a lot. I think, you know, I always talk about discomfort. You know, being uncomfortable, and. I think it's one of the only ways that you really learn about yourself, right? Um, you know, this feels, it feels tough at the moment. I mean, because I'm, like I say, I'm halfway through it and I'm getting sort of to the stage where I'm getting that temptation to go back and have a bit of food and stuff like that, you know, have some whole food. But I know what's happening. It's the discomfort talking. It's, you know, it's... Um, uh, I feel a bit weak um, because, you know, obviously I'm not getting any food into me and I'm pushing my body to uh, to places that it hasn't been for a, for a long while, you know, and I feel tired. I feel tired with the whole thing. And, um, yeah, sometimes I, I just feel like, I feel like it's two weeks enough. Would I be doing more than two weeks or, you know, should I have just left it at two weeks, you know, and, and left it at that? Because I think I've, I've, I've sort of, my body is, is getting to the place that I want it to be, um, in terms of the weight loss and stuff like that. But on the other side of that scale, I know that I'm learning stuff about myself, right? Um, like I say earlier on, it's pissed me off because I was really making some progress in the gym and just a stupid thing like bending over to pick up a towel uh, in the, you know, at the end of, of my stretching routine, you know, picked up my mat off the ground, went to put that back on the, on the rack where the mats go, went back over to pick up my towel and just as I was standing up, click. And it was the last move that I was making in the gym, right? And it, it just, um, I felt it going out. So lucky enough, uh, my chiropractor, she said she'd see me today, so I'm going to see her at two o'clock. Um... Yes, but it's pissed me off and put me on a bit of a downer, really, to be honest. But I know, I can feel it in myself that, that it's not the same as it was before, you know. Um, every time I've, I've gone out, the back's gone out, it's sort of, I haven't been able to bend over, you know. And now I'm sort of sitting in a weird position, but I can bend over, you know. I can I can still do that, and it's because... I've been strengthening up that part of my body for the last two months since the last time it happened. Um, and it's really got me uh, into a place now where I think, you know, things are strengthening up. I'll see what she, she says later on. Um, I know that I haven't been stretching every day like I should have been doing, so that's a learning thing. Um, 
you know, and it's the same with doing the juicing as well. It, it's just a learning thing of, of a need to have more juice, uh, more fruit juices in the morning and less in the evening, right? If I have more fruit juice in the evening, my mind is more active, you know, my body is more active, there's more glucose going through my body, fructose going through it, um, and that's not good for sleep, you know, so less glucose in the evening, more glucose in the morning, so, you know, and it, it's all it's all about these things of, uh, it's all about what you're going to learn by, by what you're going to go through. Um, are you going to allow life to put you through these things uh, just willy-nilly on random, or are you going to deliberately set up your life so that you push yourself through different things, you make yourself feel uncomfortable. You don't have to do this on a daily basis, but every so often you make yourself feel uncomfortable. You put yourself through a challenge that's going to make you feel uncomfortable because I'm telling you one thing now, it's during these uncomfortable moments that you definitely learn most about yourself, right? You learn most about your limits. Uh, you learn about how far you can push your limits. You learn about um, how you can uh, use that mentality, how you can build a mentality first of all, and how you can use that mentality to push you onto different things and use it in different areas of your life. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, since I've stopped drinking, to be honest, I've just become a real stubborn bastard. You know what I mean? I don't like giving in. You know, when I put myself into a challenge like this, it's just uh, it's going to take an awful lot for me to to not do it. You know, to give in halfway through. So that's a good thing. Um, so I just wanted to say it today. I mean, I'm I'm on a cup of tea here. I've got the strawberry tea that I really like that we found. I haven't found this in a long time, and it was just really nice to go up to one of our supermarkets locally here and find it on the shelves. So I'm going to make another juice shortly. Uh, a mean green juice and then get ready to go in and see uh, um, Denise so see you in a bit then um, back from the the uh, chiropractor and I'm a bit sore <laughs> she she always gives me a good battering and stuff you know but um, it's well worth it I think um, no more gym for a week anyway that's uh, a shame because I really wanted to push this out and see how far I could go with the gym with the juicing and stuff, you know. But that's not to be. Um, I'm just going to go in and let the the puppies out now. So uh, let's have a look at this. Hello, hello puppies, hello boys. Come on in, come on. Out you come. Come on. Come on. Come on, boys. Pee pee. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on then. Come on then. Oh, that's a good boys. Hello then. Hello then. Hello. Oh. Here's juice number four. It's a pure vegetable juice. As you can see by the red colour, it's got some beets in it. It's got half a sweet potato, um, half a spring onion, a couple of carrots, a couple of tomatoes. It's got also a half a pepper. And I also put a teaspoonful of mustard inside this one and shook it up. And it's really, really nice. Mm. It's just something different. A different taste um, yeah very nice um, yeah uh, I'll see you at the next one all right I'm on the final juice of the day this one is a another pure vegetable one so I've had a couple of vegetable ones today a lot of fruit early in the day but just pure vegetables and see how this one goes down I put a bit of hot sauce in this one uh, a bit of Tabasco sauce I think I overdid it a little bit <laughs> put too much into it but um, that serves me right for just pouring it straight in out of the bottle, you know, not measuring it out. So when I'm doing it tomorrow, I'll measure it out. So that's the end of uh, day 16. Uh, on to day 17 tomorrow. I'll speak to you. I'll speak to you in the morning. Bye now. Mm -hmm.